There we go. Hello. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to another Facebook Friday, right? For Lychee Friday. Are you guys ready for a good weekend? It is summertime, right? Oh, I love summer. I'm like already kind of freaking out because how many weeks have gone by in June and like how many more weeks of summer do we have? I do not want to wish it away. So hopefully you guys are all having a great summer as well. Um, let's see, what are we going to do today? I think we're going to just dive right in. We have an awesome set of cards. I'm going to show you guys today. They're fun fold cards. So they're like, you know, something uh, kind of unique and different. And this is crazy. Oh, there we go. I was like, I'm seeing eyeballs. Like the number is increasing as people are popping out. I'm not seeing any names. So I'm like, I can't say hi, but there's Philomena. Hello. Welcome. Welcome. Oh my goodness. So, okay. Yeah. The, did I say this already? We're going to use the, oh, thank you for sharing too, Philomena. The hand penned designer series paper on our fun fold cards. Judy, hello. Welcome. I hope you're feeling better. I know you were at the meeting the other night and that feeling so great. So hopefully you're getting back on track there. It's not fun when you're not feeling well, especially in the summertime when you want to be outside, right? Enjoying, enjoying things. So, okay, we have, uh, let's see, we have the hand pen designer series paper. I'm going to show you because this, I think, is some of our most gorgeous designer series paper. And it didn't even quite catch my eye when I was going through it in the catalog. We ordered it, I'm trying to remember, maybe for... What the heck was it for? Bingo? I can't remember now. But anyway, I opened up the package and I was like, oh my gosh, this paper is just beautiful. So this is one side, five sheets. I'll show you my, I have one teeny tiny little strip of the other pattern. Um, I'll show you that in just a sec. But here, that, that's like kind of front and back. So beautiful floral on one side and then kind of a um, white with whatever color, you know, kind of the, I don't know, green, pink. Um, this one's pale papaya. I know that one. Um, anyway, but just kind of a more of a subtle pattern on one side and then really beautiful, pretty floral on the other side. So those are five sheets. And then here's my last, this little strip. Okay, if I can kind of stop moving around, you guys can see. And then it's got kind of a pale, it looks a lot brighter. It's actually fairly pale, um, but in this light, it's like making it super bright. So anyway, yeah, beautiful. If that interrupts the Facebook Live or not, that doesn't happen very often. Thankfully, people don't. They, most people know not to call. That was some random number. So anyway, okay, yeah. So we're going to have lots of fun playing with that designer series paper today, right, with our fun fold cards. What else are we going to do? Oh, I want to give a quick reminder. I am doing, I'm like frantically, of course, as always, um, trying to, well, not, I guess, uh, yeah, kind of frantically. <laughs> Anyway, um, getting ready for the new annual catalog kickoff and buy one, get one free event that's going to be here locally here held in Alma um, at my new location, which is the Peace Lutheran Church. So it's um, on Warwick Drive. It's 325 East Warwick Drive, kind of across the street from the hospital and the rehab center there. Um, we are going to be doing the buy one, get one free new catalog kickoff. It is this next Wednesday, June 23rd. Anytime you can come, whatever you want, anytime from 10 a.m. until 6 p.m. I'm going to be there all day long. I'm going to have all my retired products set out. I'll have it all priced. If you are not familiar with how I run my uh, BOGO sales, basically you shop from all of the retired product. It'll all be out on the tables. You can kind of rifle through everything. It's like shopping almost from a garage sale. Because so, for example, stamp sets, those are stamp sets that I've already used. So they're technically used. They're not brand new products. There's an occasional like pack of designer series paper that never got opened. So, you know, there is some new stuff too. But, you know, partial packages of embellishments and ribbon. There are punches, um, retired ink pads. There's just a ton of awesome stuff. Well, stamp sets, um, dies, um, embossing folders, like whatever um, I have that I cannot show you guys any longer because it's not in the catalog right once it's retired it doesn't do me any good to show you guys because then you guys want these things and then you can't get them so i don't like to tease you like that right so i put it all in my buy one get one free sale then what you do so say i always give the example say you find fifty dollars in retired product um, from the tables, then you can get $50 for free out of our new annual catalog. You still pay the shipping and the sales tax on the new stuff, but it's still buy retired stuff, get new annual catalog product for free. So it is an awesome, awesome deal. So if you're looking for a deal, that's the deal for you. Next week, 
Wednesday, June 23rd from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. I'll be there all day long. And I'll have a couple of make and takes too. So if you got some extra time, definitely shop from the buy one, get one free stuff. And then if you have extra time, you can sit down and make a couple of cute projects um, using new catalog product. They're just $5 for those two make and takes. So bring your scissors and adhesive if, if you're gonna come and do the make and takes. Um, I will have, I've got some swaps I'm going to show you guys a little bit later, and I'll have those on display um, at the event, and just lots of other awesome stuff. There's a drawing, I can't even remember, if you, <laughs> no, I'm like, I'm, this was totally, this is like off the cuff, ladies, I don't do this very often. Um, usually I'm pretty like <laughs> prepared, but I know I'm doing a drawing and you get your name in the drawing. I know if you bring a new friend to the new catalog kickoff, I will get one free event. You get your name in the drawing. If you sign up for any classes or events that I'm having this summer, you get your name in the drawing and there's one other way, but I can't remember what it is right now. So We'll, we'll figure that out when you come on Wednesday, okay? So anyway, yeah, but I'm, I'm going to give away some fun new product too, so you get your name in the drawing for um, those things. There's something else. I don't know. And then I am going to, hello, Heidi. Thank you. I'm so glad you can join us live first time, right? I think first time, or maybe, I know I saw your name last week too, so now I'm trying to remember if you watched it later or if you watched the live. Um, what else was I going to say? Oh, I'm going to do, so a um, after I do the um, local event for the buy one, get one free, I'm going to take pictures of everything and then I will actually get it all uploaded and we will do a buy one, get one free sale online. I'm going to do that in July. So be watching for that. More details will be coming on that, but I don't want um, my long distance friends to miss out on the deals too. So, and then actually the other kind of cool thing is in July, I'll be able to include any product that is just retiring from our January to June mini catalog. So maybe I'll segue right into that and do your quick reminder, right? Let me grab that catalog so I can like flash it right in front of me. <clears throat> This is what I'm talking about. This um, catalog is gonna be retired in just a couple of weeks on, I don't know what day June 30th is. I wrote it down somewhere, but I can't. Well, I guess it has to be a week from Tuesday. Yeah, oh my gosh, so it's like 10 days. Probably about, yeah, that makes sense. What's today, the 20th, 19th, something like that, 18th? <laughs> Oh, it's the 18th, right? So we have 12 more days. Yes, 12 more days until June 30th. Um, make sure you get anything that you want out of this catalog, right? So lots of things are retiring. If they're not retiring, you're already seeing them in the new annual catalog. So that's kind of a good way to know, right? So if, if you have the new annual catalog and something that's in here is in there, it's not retiring, so you're good to go. You don't have to worry about it. But what I do know is some things have already retired, sold out, including some stamp sets, which is kind of unusual because usually stamp it up um, basically guarantees that the stamp sets are available at least un usually right up until the very end but I guess we're not doing that now so be warned stamp sets have already sold out some of them have sold out from this catalog so you've got a few more days uh, what did we figure out 12 more days to order out of this catalog and then like I said whatever I have from in here that is then retired essentially on July 1st I'm going to throw into my um, online BOGO sale so be, um, like I said, be watching for more details on that. I got to get myself organized on that. You know, that's July. That's like 12 days away. So there's a lot going on between now and then actually, ladies. So, and I knew I was going to, well, yeah, it was just how it was going to work out, but I'm doing my buy one, get one free sale on Wednesday. Hey, Nikki. And then my son, Cade, we are doing his graduation party, open house, like fun, finally going to celebrate this kid graduating. Um, we're doing that next Sunday here in Alma. Um, so yeah, there's a lot going on. Um, I'm trying to get myself all organized. Although one of my very, very, very good friends did her open house for her son last weekend and her daughter made so many cute things for his open house, um, all kind of Alma Panther black and orange themed. And they were just gonna like get rid of everything. And I was like, um, hello, Kate's open house is in like two weeks. Could think we could like borrow, buy, rent, whatever, um, those super cute decorations. So she totally saved me. I've got them all like all over the house trying to, you know, kind of change it up a little bit so it doesn't look exactly like her son Andrew's open house. Um, but yeah, so I'm super excited about that. But now I'm like, okay, I got to get myself organized for the buy one, get one free event and for this big party that we're throwing for my son Kate. Because I don't know if I mentioned this yet or not. It's kind of one of those like, oh, mom moments where, um, when we were on our trip in Maui 
um, because it had been planned for so long, um, we missed graduation. He was actually in Maui um, when like high school, Alma High School had their graduation. So it was one of those, like we kind of went back and forth, like should we come home early for it? Um, we kind of decided, huh, it's okay, we're not gonna do that. Um, he was actually fine. I think, you know, I might've been a little bit more disappointed. Um, I don't know, I think that's probably how parents have been through everything in the pandemic, right? Where the kids didn't don't really know what they missed out on. Like we had all of these things, so we know what it was like, um, but he doesn't really know what graduation was all about because he's never been through it. Um, so he was okay with it. Um, but what was I going to say? Oh, cause the other thing, you know, especially here in Michigan, who knew for sure, even at that point, you know, restrictions were being lifted, but I mean, things are still so up in the air, you know, are we going to have a graduation? How many people can come to graduation? Um, you know, just that sort of thing. So we just kind of decided oh, we're, we're going to go to Maui and we're going to stay. So, um, yeah, so we're have extra celebrating to do for Cade for graduation since he didn't actually walk through graduation. Um, so he'll be back to watch Lily graduate next year. So he'll kind of get an idea. Maybe we can slide him through too. I don't know. <laughs> I have to check into that. We'll worry about that later though. So, okay. Um, let's see what else is going on. Um, oh, I want to show you guys. So we had our team meeting, our Inkspired Stampers team meeting earlier this week, and we made some super cute cards that I have to share. And honestly, darn it, I forgot. So I totally cased these cards. And who I cased them from, I did not write down. So I apologize. These are not my own creations. I found them on another Facebook group that I am on and I love them so much. And I was like, this is what we're making at our team meeting because they feature all of our new in colors. So I'll kind of flash these up here so you can see. So we've got first with the polished pink. Um, actually, let me show you because this is kind of cute too. So my favorite, I love this scallop edged die. It's got some stitching in it too. I don't know if you guys can see that. If I get super close, you can kind of see the stitching. So we die cut that. Lily helped me do all of these. Um, we die cut that right on the front flap of the card. And then we just add a little bit of designer series paper to add a little flare and then you can write whatever message you want inside there. You could even add some more white paper. Um, sometimes that's easier to write on, but that's kind of the idea. So we did one in each color. So we've got the polished pink, we've got the fresh freesia, and again, that little, just that little strip of designer series paper it adds so much, doesn't it? So cute. And we've got the soft succulent and the pale papaya, right? And one more, the evening evergreen, but I love that stripe too. That's gonna be a great one, don't you think, for like Christmas time? I'm looking at that thing and ooh, that'll be, yeah, that'll be a good one if I have not used this paper enough by then. I don't know how many packs of this. This is the um, Pansy Petals Designer Series paper. That's what all of those were made from. I'll kind of spread those out again so you can see. But that was the designer series paper that we used on all of those cards was from the Pansy Petals designer series paper. I'm not doing a very good job there. And our in color ribbon too. But they're a great way to basically showcase all of our new in, in colors. And I love to do that, give my um, team members a tool to kind of show things off. Hello, Miss Tracy, welcome. Thanks for hanging out with us today. Um, yeah, so that they can show all of the new ink colors and the ribbon and some of the pretty paper and that fun stamp set, the color and contour stamp set too. Um, that was one thing. So we had to use the same stamp on all of these cards, same couple of stamps, three of them, right? Because we have the You Are Absolutely Amazing there too. Um, but yeah, so um, I ended up helping everybody stamp because I thought, oh my gosh, all of the people there and then five different colors of ink with the same stamp. So we kind of made a production line and got it done pretty quick and simple. But I will show you too, this stamp is not meant to color in perfectly. So that was kind of the beauty of just like get over it, ladies. So we stamped the outline and then actually the inside, um, I actually stamped off first. So it'd be a little bit lighter so you could see kind of the background there too. So yeah, but we had lots of fun. I just, those cards are beautiful, I think, right? Our ink colors, these ink colors are amazing. And I'm still taking um, people, if you're interested in the In Color Club, where you get all of the products, say one month, you get everything in Pale Papaya. You get the cardstock, the ink pad, the ribbon, the ink refill, the blends, and the marker, the designer series paper, 
I think that's it. And then um, one month you're the host and you get $20 in free product. And that month you also get the in-color embellishments that are in all of those beautiful colors too. So I'm still taking um, entries. If you're interested, I can still get you signed up for the in-color club. I will include the link to sign up above the details to this Facebook Live video after I get it uploaded this afternoon. Okay, so if you're interested, let me know. I'd be happy to get you signed up for that. $20 in free stuff you get for being the host the one month that you are the host of the In Color Club. Okay, um, meeting swaps I showed you. Oh no, I didn't show you swaps, I showed you make and takes. So now let me show you, these were our meeting swaps and I'm gonna try I, I kind of um, got off somewhere doing something else, so I don't even know if I know for sure who made all of these, but I'm going to try to do my best to tell you who made these cards. Um, this one, I know Sunday made this one, and it's funny because this, what I think it's called Daisy Lane, that stamp set, and I don't think I ever really used this beautiful fern imagery there, there are a couple of different fern or maybe i don't know if it's all the same one maybe it is but in three different colors but isn't that gorgeous it's just really nice and soft and subtle um and so it's an older stamp set but one of those that i have loved like the daisy right the punches um but just the ferns i hadn't used that stamp at all i was like well where's that from so anyway old well not old i shouldn't say old because you know it's been around for maybe two years or something but things that have been in my craft room for a little while kind of get tucked in the back corner of, of things sometimes. And this is a great example of pull out something you've had for a while and play with it again, because it's kind of feels like new again, right? So this is kind of a fun one, this card. So it's not actually a card and I didn't even quite finish it, but the cool thing is, so it's a calendar and you actually, um, we posted online on our Inkspired Stampers Facebook group, Sharon, who I'm not sure if she's watching right now or not, but one of our team members um, showed her finished um, swap basically from Nancy. Nancy um, designed this one, but it, it's with the calendar too. And so she finished it off with some kind of a sentiment. I can't remember what she even put on there. I probably should have put this down a little bit lower so that I could add my sentiment too. But I love this idea. So um, the cool thing is, is it folds up. So can you kind of see it'll stand like you could put this right on your desk or something or on like a shelf, but then and I'll show you kind of the back too. You can kind of see it's just like a um, and a kind of an accordion fold, but it will fold right up into basically a card size. So you can stick it in an envelope and mail it to somebody too. So isn't that so cool? So I was like, I love that idea. So you might see those maybe at the beginning of next year. You never know. It's kind of, it's on my brain. If I can remember, if I make enough notes in the right calendar, this could happen if for 2022 with some of our probably new celebration paper or something at that point. So anyway, I thought that was kind of a fun one. And then let's see, this one was from Jamie. Jamie made this card and I do not have, I think I've ordered this paper, which, ooh, speaking of designer series paper, if you can stand it, you may want to hold off because we're gonna do a designer series paper sale. I didn't even check the details. It's generally buy three packages and get one for free, so I'm assuming that that's what we're doing, um, but we'll have to check back on that. I'll give you more details um, on our next Facebook Live, and I'll be posting about it right here on our Facebook group too, but I think that's the case. So I have already ordered this paper, and now I'm like, darn, I should have waited until the sale. So. If you can hold off a little bit, wait until July 1st to take part in the designer series paper sale. This is super cute paper. I cannot remember the name of it, but then the fun little stamp set that goes with it too. Isn't that so sweet? And what does it say? Hey friend, it's just so cute, isn't it? The little, yeah, I love like kind of the building of the flowers there. And then this is the one, I'm not sure who did this. I'm thinking maybe Susie. Uh, good morning, Susan, um, but I'm not totally sure. So Susie, if you're watching, um, comment and let me know, or later if you watch later and say, yeah, that was my swap, because she was actually having back problems and wasn't able to come. Um, so that's why I'm thinking maybe, because most everybody showed their cards, and so I'm like, I don't remember anybody showing this one. So I'm guessing it was Susan. Thank you for the share, uh, Susan, also. Susie made this card, Susan shared. <laughs> A lot of Susans out there. Yes, it is another pretty one. And this stamp set is retiring, the pretty perennial stamp set. I love this stamp set. This is one that I am super sad. I love these flowers, something about building and how she basically made that designer series paper. I love that. So very, very sad to see that one going. But you know, that's 
that's how it, how we roll around here. Now this one was from Julie and I love, okay, so can you guys see? I'm like, oh, Julie, I might have to use that idea sometimes. I think it's so cool. So she used one of our, this is one of our square vellum doilies and she put it over cardstock. I think she said, and I'm trying to remember for sure. So you could use a sponge dauber um, and just sponge over the doily on the white cardstock to give that effect. So can you kind of see like that right there? Is that right there? Isn't that so cool? But I feel like she said she actually just like laid the doily and the paper right on the ink pad um, itself, which sounds like pretty scary to me. I don't know if I would do that. <laughs> I would have ink everywhere is what the problem would be on that. So yes, it is so lovely and soft, isn't it? And she did it in all of our different ink colors. So this one is very soft obviously in the pale papaya. She also did it, well, in the polished pink was super bright and bold and was really pretty. So um, maybe she meant she put this right on the ink pad. That's what I'm thinking. Maybe she didn't get enough ink on the on the um, vellum doily afterwards. So that might've been it. I think she put this on there, used the sponge dauber, and I think she just like laid this right on the ink pad to get it super um, like absorbed with ink and then just set it aside for a little while um, to let it dry. So, but isn't that cool? I like that idea. And then Sharon made this card and now check this out. So I'll show you, she's got something a little bit attached there. Cause this, isn't this cool? It's like a piece of designer series paper that kind of folds out. And what she did was she gave everybody, I'll take that off actually. Cause that's what the card looks like, right? But she was like, I don't want to assume what sentiment you want to use. So she gave everybody this little label punch so we can put it right there after we stamp whatever our sentiment is that we want on the card. So isn't that cool? Yeah, so it's designer series paper that kind of uses that fold. So, and then that beautiful stamp set, I think it's the hand penned, at least it goes with that hand penned designer series paper. I don't know if I know the exact name of it, but yeah, so we had beautiful swaps this month. Um, love the effort and all the fun new product that people use and even the um, not so new stuff is all gorgeous as well. So. The other thing I want to tell you guys about, because I love doing this um, for t my team members, is rewarding them when they get um, kind of additional sales. So, for example, I always send out, I'll show you this card. I sent out um, this card featuring the hand pen designer series paper, right? That beautiful paper. So actually, oh yeah, spoiler alert, I guess I should say. If you're in my top five in sales in the expired stampers for May, you're going to be receiving this card if you have not already. Maybe you have. Um, but anyway, this is, I love to kind of acknowledge and say, thanks, awesome job to my top five sellers in our team each month. So I make these beautiful cards and send them out to everybody. So again, featuring that hand pen designer series paper that we are going to be playing with in just a little bit. And then actually, if um, it, you're in my team and you sell over $600 in a month, hello, Sharon, thanks for hanging out with us. I just showed your swap card. You just missed it. Um, anyway, if you um, have at least $600 in sales, you make it into what I call the $600 club. And the reason why I do that is because Stampin' Up! also rewards you for with additional, they call it volume rebate, but it's basically an additional commission on your sales. So I love to kind of incent people to get to, hey, Lori, hey, 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 thanks for hanging out with us. Um, I like to incent people to get to that $600 mark. So that's in sales in a month because you get like additional commission from Stampin' Up. And then you also, this month I gave um, bolts of the polished pink ribbon. This was the little um, woohoo, you made it into the $600 club. So um, everybody that um, made it into the $600 club got a bolt of the polished pink ribbon this month. So yeah, Sharon, you should probably take your phone call. That's fine. You can always watch the Facebook Live later. So thanks for um, coming and hanging out with us when you're done though. So, okay. So yeah, so every single month I pick a new um, embellishment ribbon, something fun to give away as a woohoo, you made it into the $600 club this month. So, and it's a surprise. You never know what you're going to get every single month. So another reason to buy the starter kit and come hang out with us and be an expired stamper. If you make it in the $600 club, you always get fun um, prizes from me too. Okay, um, talking, talking, talking. I have so much to share with you guys today. What else do I want to tell you about? Oh, actually, let's give some congratulations. A couple of our expired stampers 
we had, uh, let me make sure, all of a sudden I'm like blanking out. Yes, Jenny Boffman, who is actually in Sharon's uh, downline, one of our expired stampers. Jenny became what we call a qualified team member this month. She has uh, over $900 in sales now, so she became a qualified team member. She's essentially halfway to her Bronze Elite promotion, which is $1,800 in sales. So she's like chugging right along there. So um, as a congratulations to her, anybody in um, all three of my levels of uh, downline, my expired stampers, you get a $25 shopping spree when you reach qualified team member. So Jenny has done her shopping and I am ordering her um, fun free product that she will get as a congratulations. So you can tell I love to um, give those congratulations out to um, anybody that's in my team. I love to recognize your effort and um, just appreciate and say thank you for your hard work. So, yeah, and then actually we had another team member, Miss Sandra Bookmeyer, actually became a bronze, she promoted to Bronze Elite, which is, like I said, that $1,800 in sales, and she actually now gets 25% off of her orders instead of just 20% off of her orders, or if she's selling, she earns 25% commission, and then actually if she were to sell over $600, she'd get that additional volume rebate or commission, and she'd get the $600 prize too, so um, for now, though, Sandra actually gets a $50 shopping spree from me as a congratulations and thank you for her hard work and effort. So, Sandra, if you're watching, let me know what you would like for your $50 in free product as your congrats for promoting to Bronze Lee. So, woohoo! Go Jenny and go Sandra. You guys are doing an awesome job. Can't wait to share um, who who promotes next. I've got I've got my eyes and ears open and watching to see who's gonna who's gonna be doing that next. So I'll keep you posted on that. Okay. Um, okay. I think we are ready. I skipped one thing and I'm gonna come back to it. I think I can remember it too. Um, but yes, we are doing well. Yeah. Let's do our drawing. Okay. So in here names. If you share the Facebook live video anytime, you had a couple of weeks to share this video, right? So if you shared the Facebook live video, or if you are new to me and signed up for my email list, if you haven't done that yet, I include the link to be able to do that above this Facebook live video, but your name is in the basket right here. And we are drawing this week for, I love these, the in color square gems. So these are our last year in colors. We've got one more year with them, a little bit less than a year now. So these, these colors will actually retire next April. We're not worrying about that right now. Uh, but in the meantime, just play with that stuff as much as you can while you can, right? Cause you got another year to do it. So, okay. One lucky winner is going to, got like an itchy, itchy neck, itchy chin. That's my chin, not my neck. <laughs> okay. Woo! You guys know I'm going to collapse after this. <laughs> I like start, I'm bouncing off the walls every time I do one of these Facebook lives and then I just like pass out when I'm done. Okay, so here we go. The lucky winner of the In Color Square Gems. I'm just tossing these around. Okay, who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Let's see. Miss Kay Phipps. Congratulations, Kay. I will be mailing out the In Color Square Gems to you. So congratulations, Kay. Love that. Okay, let's see. Hold on, I got to... Get rid of those, get my little basket ready for the next drawing. Okay, so what are we gonna give away on our next Facebook Live, ladies? If you share the video or sign up for my email list, your name is gonna go in the drawing to win. This is the a full bolt this time of the Fresh Freesia Ribbon. So you can kinda, I don't know, actually maybe you can see it. That's how light it is. It looks a lot darker, doesn't it, when it's all rolled together? So that's actually the color. It's beautiful, that beautiful, like soft, pale purple. So this is what we'll give away on our next Facebook Live. Um, sign up for my email list and share the video. Share the video. I love your shares. Thank you so much. Do that as many times as you want over the next, however, until the next Facebook Live. I think I'm actually, I was trying to decide. I don't think I'm going to do a Facebook Live next Friday because it's right before Cade's um, graduation party open house and I think I'm, we're making a bunch of the food and so I'm trying to not stress myself out too much. So I think I'm, I'm going to hold off and do Facebook Live the following Friday, but I'll keep you posted. I'll post right on here so you guys know for sure when the next Facebook Live is. But in the meantime, just share the video and your name will go in the drawing for that ribbon, okay? 
Um, all right, let me check my notes again. You guys know me. Oh, quick reminder about my super summer giveaway drawing, right? Debbie, thank you for sharing. Exactly. Yes, that's exactly what you need to do. So all summer long, you get entries into the drawing and the drawing is going to be in September for some awesome, awesome product. I don't even know what it is yet because I'm hoping that I should be able to um, get some maybe new, I'm calling it holiday catalog, July to December mini catalog, we've decided is way too much of a mouthful. We need a different name stamping up that is too, blah, 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 blah. we need some like acronym or something. So I'm calling it the holiday catalog. I think I'm gonna be giving away, well, it'll be maybe some annual catalog, maybe some holiday catalog. Anyway, it'd be awesome product. But all summer long, you get your name in the drawing. If you attend an event or if you, um, purchase the class to go. I'm considering that an event, right? For every $50 you spend, you get two entries in the drawing. Here's the, the kicker, the super duper easy one. You get two entries into the drawing each time you post a picture of a project right here on this Facebook group. Just make sure you use the hashtag super summer giveaway because what I'm going to do is at the end of each month, I'm going to put names in the drawing for all of these things. So at the end of June, I'm going to look anybody that used that hashtag super summer giveaway like who did I have down here who's already, Pam Simmons has shared a couple of projects. So her name goes on, so I made these little tokens. I'm gonna to write Pam's name on the back of two tokens for every um, picture of a project she has posted, right? I got these fun little tokens in all of our in colors, right? Lily helped me actually, Lily punched all these and stamped them all for me, but we're gonna write names on the back of these every time you get an entry in the drawing. You also get two entries for each new guest you bring to class three entries for joining a club, which is a scrapbook club, simple, beautiful card club, paper, pumpkin, and in color club, right? Um, if you purchase the starter kit, you get five entries into the drawing. And if you hold your own private party or class, you get another five entries into the drawing. So like I said, about halfway through here, all these different ways you can get entries in the drawing at the end of each month. So at the end of June, I'm going to go through and anybody that came to, well, if you came to a class, I already gave you um, tickets. You wrote your name right on them at class, right? But for every $50 you spend, um, if you post a picture of a project, if you bring a new guest to class, you also got tickets um, right there at class, right? But if you you joined Paper Pumpkin, In Color Club, any of the other clubs, if you bought the starter kit or if you um, held a private party or class. I'm going to, so just to make it easy on my brain, I'm going to do it at the end of June, at the end of July, and at the end of August. So I have a whole bunch of names in there by the end of August. I'll give away some awesome free product. So get your name in there too, ladies, and you can win. And the easiest way to do it is use that hashtag super summer giveaway and just post whatever you're making. Take a quick picture of it. Upload it right here to our Facebook group. Use that hashtag. So all you got to do is say, hey, look at this fun thing I made today. Because everybody wants to know what everybody else is doing. Plus, it's super like motivating and inspiring. And don't think that your project is not good enough to share, okay? Everybody's project is good enough to share. We all have different levels of talent and ability and kind of what we like and don't like, right? So don't don't stress out about that. Oh, my project isn't good enough to share. Oh my gosh, seriously, don't even don't even think that or even worry about that. Just share it. We love to see what you're doing. So, okay, that's my plea. Post, post, post. I would love to get lots of sharing right here on our group um, showing fun projects that you're making, okay? All right, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I can't stop talking today, ladies. Okay, I think we are, yeah, okay. We're just about ready to do our next drawing. Let me just kind of clean things off here a little bit. So yeah, okay. If you have not watched a Facebook Live before or maybe don't know how I do things, I'm gonna just give you a quick summary because I think this is kind of fun for everybody to know. So if you put in an online order of at least $30 from the last time I did Facebook Live till this past Wednesday at midnight, you automatically get the projects, which these were the two fun cards that I made, made on our last Facebook Live. So with a $30 auto, order, you automatically get as a thank you for me, these two cards, right? Then your name is going in the drawing to win the Create with Friends stamp set. Awesome, fun. This is another one of those builder. I love these stamp sets, right? Where you've got like big, um, bold font here and then some smaller font right here and you can make lots of different sentences sentiments with them. I don't even have this one yet, but I'm like, okay, this is one that I need. I got to put this on my list to order. I don't know if I did that yet or not. So yes, $30 order, get your name in the drawing to win that stamp set. If you bumped your order up to $50, you get to pick from either the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial with 16 different projects 
in color, full, step-by-step, -step, how you put everything together, all the projects in here. Or you can pick the free embellishment, which are the genial gems that I believe are off of back order because I just got a big slew of them in an anticipation of online orders to say thank you. So, well, that's a mouthful, right? So basically, let's do our drawing now for the Create with Friends stamp set. Names are in the um, little basket right here. And you guys, I always say this, it's not like I get a million online orders, right? Your odds are really, really good of winning. You always get the two cards. If you bump your order for $50, you get that free embellishment or the PDF tutorial. And then you can win like a stamp set too. It's kind of like buy one, get one free almost. So crazy, crazy, crazy. Okay, so here we go. Let me toss around the couple of entries in here. Like I said, good odds, very good odds. And okay, one in my hand, yes, okay. The winner is Miss Maria. Thank you, congratulations, and thank you for your order, Miss Maria. Um, I will be getting that uh, Create with Friends stamp set sent out to you. Okay, let's see. Here we go. Um, I'm trying to figure out. I'm trying to like move things out of the way so that I have room for everything. Okay. So you guys want to know what we're going to give away this week or on our next Facebook Live? Excuse me. I have ordered it and it's not in yet. It's gonna, it's gonna come, it's gonna be on like the porch like when we're done with Facebook Live because that's how this works for me sometimes. Um, but this is what we're gonna give away is the cute little, what's it called, the turtle, yeah, turtle friends. That's what I thought, but I didn't wanna say it wrong. So this super cute little turtle friends a stamp set, love. There's a fun little project right there made with that um, stamp set. There's a cute punch that goes with it too. You have to get that separately, but you could win the turtle friends stamp set with your online order of just $30, okay? I'll give you the host code. It's always in the details above this Facebook Live video, and it's also always on my blog at Gathering Inc. with a K, so gatheringinspiration.com. And you guys, the sun is peeking out. I'm so excited. It said it was gonna do that. Lily and a couple friends went to the beach today, a couple hours away, because Alma is like not near a beach, like two hours to get anywhere, basically. Um, yeah, so I was like, yeah, probably by the time you get there, the sun will be out, and I think it's happening. At least here it is, so I'm sure it probably has already happened because they were heading west, so I'm glad. She's been wanting to get to the beach with some friends. So, yeah, okay, so put your, well, not put your name, but put your online order in, ladies. Your odds are so good to win that cute little turtle friend stamp set. It is an adorable, adorable set. That one I did order, and I, well, yeah, I ordered for this, and I think I ordered for myself, too, now that I'm thinking about it. I think, I have to check my notes. Anyway, okay, um, where's my list? Oh my gosh, somehow I got that set aside. I'm like, oh, that's like panic attack moment right there. All right, we're gonna flip the camera down. I still, I have to show you guys my swaps from Maui. I've been like holding out on showing you these. Um, so I'll just kind of, we're just gonna kind of flip through those pretty quickly. Um, I did not make notes on anything, so I'm not even sure I can tell you what something is from. Um, if you want to know, ask me, post a comment right here and I'll look it up and find it out for you if I do not know, okay? So turn your heads away. We are gonna fly through the air and check out some fun swaps now. Okay, there we go. Okay, are we all right? Something seems wonky. We'll see how I did here. Okay. All right, we look good, actually. So here's my baggie, my swaps. Ooh, I'll show you. So this is my swap card. I'll show you this one first. Because this is part of that, I think it's called the Pattern Party Designer Series paper, that free paper you can get um, with host rewards in our new annual catalog. And then some of whatever that punch and stamp set is. I can't remember right now. <laughs> but I loved this. So Sunday made a card with that color combo. And I think hers was cuter. I kind of went with her color combo and tried to do the best I could. But I love this. Um, this is Granny Apple Green and Knight of Navy. So like fun and preppy. I love that green and navy together. So cute color combo, right? All right, look at all these. I got, I think it's like 26 cards for these to show you guys. So we won't um, spend forever on them, but I will kind of flip through them so you can see them all. Okay, so here we go. And this one looks like it's a big foldy kind of, can you see? There's some kind of a fold in it there. Oh my gosh, we probably better open it up and see what she did here. There's a belly band too. This one is with uh, Rosemary Gonzalez. Okay, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I love that bow too, isn't that cute? I see, it's a belly band. Oh, I love that too, the happy birthday. Oh my gosh, okay. Ooh, this is pretty elaborate. 
Okay, there we go. So let's see what happens. Ooh, oh, how cute is that? So then you can write right inside here. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Look at that and uses some of our fun. That's more of that pattern party designer series paper. What a cute idea. I love that. Okay, so here I am not going fast. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so here we go. This is from that beautiful designer series paper with the little thank you and that gold ribbon. This one is from, oh, Melissa. Okay, Melissa's Crafting Treehouse, I think it said. I did not bring my glasses, so we're not going to be able to read much here. This is a pretty thank you with that new embossing folder. Oh, and that ribbon. I love that ribbon too, the pale papaya ribbon. Um, from Deb Naylor. This one is some of that wild, in the wild, right? Designer series paper and that stamp set. Thanks, you are the beast. Oh, that's kind of fun. I haven't even noticed that with some of our new, um, what is that? The elegant, right? What is that called? The, uh, I don't know. Why can't I think of it? Anyway, some of our new ribbon. Jessica Brigden made that one. Evening Evergreen. I knew it was going to come to me. Okay, how about this one? Ooh, this is cool too with that fun background stamp. I might have to get that. You're absolutely amazing. Love that one. That's a pretty color combo too with that. Is that just jade maybe? And then the um, petal pink, I think, because that's that petal pink ribbon. Oops, must be on the inside. We're not opening that one. This one is pretty too, huh? The You're Absolutely Amazing with, oh, my favorite. This is the hand pen that we're going to be using that designer series paper. These are all upside down. What if I go this way? Oh, this one's cool too. Look at that. I don't even know what that um, die is. Now I want to know. Very cool. And I love that label too. Where's that label from? <laughs> Do you guys know where any of these are from? This is really, oh, I like that. I like the little background and the tag. I do know about the tag and the ribbon. This is from Amy Combs. Okay, let's see what else. Ooh, the cool trees. Hooray, it's your birthday. I love those trees. Isn't that awesome? And this one's from Carol Nordquist. I'm looking at these, their demonstrator number. She is demonstrator. She's been here for a long time, 3890. Mine is like 2035972. Like hers is four digits. Mine's like seven or eight. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's awesome. So she's like from way back in the day. How cool is that? So this is a fun little hey friend, right? With the designer series paper. I like that one too from Candy Michael. Um, and then there's this one. I love that stamp set. And the You're Absolutely Amazing, right? Oh, must be on the inside again. In the, in, in the interest of time, because I have another thing to show you before we stamp still. This one's cool, though, too. And this one, I think I opened up, and it, it opens like this, too, so it's kind of fun. It's a little bit of a different fun fold, right? With the thanks from Kelly Atchison. And then what do we have? This one, feel better, friend. Oh, that's nice, that sentiment. With some of the hand penned, I'm thinking. The cards are beautiful, aren't they, Susan? That's some of the Pansy Designer Series paper from Candy, Connie, excuse me, Connie Babbert. Um, what about this one? We've got, these are the moments we'll look back on with joy with more. Oh, I love that. Oh, she, so she die cut with, um, one of the butterfly dies, right? So then the paper's popping through and then, Ooh, that embossing folder is, no, that's not an embossing folder, is it? It looks like it's embossed, but I think, okay, now I do need to know on that one. Is it a die or is it embossed? Cause I was like, I think I bought that embossing folder and now I'm questioning whether it's a die or an embossing folder. So let's see if we can figure it out. Yeah, that's a, well, who made this one? I'm going to have to talk to Sarah Kimbaro. Um, that's, that's, okay. No, it is. Oh, it is a die. Oh, cool. Yeah, because it's kind of laid on top there. All right, we figured that one out. <laughs> All right. All the things you do are simply amazing. Oh, that's so pretty. And I love how she stamped that like that with that gold cord too. Beautiful. Who's that from? Oh, that's from Hattie. Hattie Walker Nelson. And ooh, how about this one? Aloha. Oh, isn't that so pretty? So she embossed. Can you kind of see that? Um, the probably clear on black, right? Oh, and the sponging that she did. Beautiful, huh? Oh, I don't know who did that one. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like teasing. Ooh, this is pretty with that macrame embossing folder. And this is a fun stamp set. I think Maybe I ordered that one because I was like, oh, I got to get something like that. I haven't had a stamp set like that, especially with that little hanging pot thing. So pretty, huh? Right? And this is from Jill Olson. All right, let's see. Ooh, this is fun too with this 
little um, thing right here. That's one of the border dies. Have a peachy day with some of our designer series paper. The um, pale papaya. Oh, not sure who that one's from. How about this one with this beautiful designer series paper and all the dyes and everything. Isn't that gorgeous? Fun, bright, beautiful colors there from Cindy Fodor. I think is how I think I'm not sure how you pronounce her last name. How about this one? This is more of that pattern party designer series paper. It's like fun, bright colors on one side and then black and white on the other with a feel better friend. Okay. A um, couple more ladies. Aren't these awesome? I had so many good ones. Happy anniversary again with that um, elegant stamp set. Maybe is it called? Not totally sure from Kim Williams. Um, how about this one? Ooh, with that, is it like a koi, koi fish maybe, right? Oh, that paper's so pretty too, with the thank you. And this one is from Mary Ann Grimmer. Beautiful cards. How about this guy right here with the red robins? Hello, with, I think that's some of the designer series paper right there. Okay, next we have, ooh, this is a beautiful way to showcase our designer series paper. And then she embossed all of those strips too. I love that cutout like that also. Ah, what a cool idea from whoever gave me that one. <laughs> and then another macrame. I love that embossing folder and the little detail there too. Isn't that pretty with happy birthday? And that one's from Judy Prawl. Oh my gosh, so many good cards, huh, ladies? So um, you might see, I don't know, maybe you'll see one of those again sometime. Not sure, just saying one way or the other. Okay. So now I want to do a quick reminder about my class to go. I'm not going to um, go into all the details. I will give you the link to sign up if you're interested. Basically, you get two of each of these cards, all the parts and pieces to make them. If you need the stamp set and the dies, make sure you get those um, if you don't have them. <laughs> yes, you need the macrame embossing folder too, huh, Susan? I agree. I agree. Um, okay, yeah, so option number one, you need the stamp set and the dies. Option number two, um, well, everybody will get the Wink of Stella. They are going to get the ribbon. They are going to get the, um, uh, the Elegant Faceted Gems. And then you get a quarter pack of the Designer Series paper. So if you're interested, let me know. But basically, these are the cards. We've got this fun fold right there, right? This is a simple one. And then that one right there. So two of each of those, okay? If you're interested, let me know. RSVPs are due next Friday, the 25th. So you've got another week to get signed up. Um, so let me know if you're interested, okay? All right, I think we are ready to do our stamping. I'll grab my grid paper. And yeah, I'll show the host code too while I get myself organized here for a sec. So here's our host code for June, the 79KDB9M. That's the code you wanna use if you would like to order online and get all my freebies through Facebook Live. Okay. All right, I think we're good. I have too much on my desk or my table here. Oh, okay, but we are working with the hand pen designer series paper. This is actually a project from the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial for June. So if you wanna know how to make this card using the hand pen designer series paper, order at least $50 and you get that for free. The PDF is free for me, okay? All right, so let me show you. Here is our first fun card. Oh, and that's right, I cased it. I'll show you in a sec. So this is the card I'm going to demonstrate, again, featuring the hand pen designer series paper. And I cased this from Charlene, one of our Inkspired stampers who brought, this was the card she brought to um, our team meeting. This was her swap, so I didn't show it earlier. Sorry, Charlene, if you're watching and you're like, well, where's my card? Because I was waiting to show you guys when um, I actually demonstrated the cards. So isn't this awesome? I basically just took her exact layout and I was like, okay, we're gonna adapt it to the hand pen designer series paper. And she actually had a bunch of different patterns. She used a bunch of different patterns of paper um, from our new annual catalog too. So I just happened to get the peach paper, but there were lots of different beautiful options there that she gave everyone too. So quick sip of water, hold on one sec. Mm. Okay. So I have my have my notes. So if you need your paper trimmer, okay. So I do have that. So that's always good. All right. So uh, she did not tell us how she actually um, made this card. So I just guessed, and I am just going to show you what I think you can do in terms of making this card because it's basically a half a sheet 
of this is Highland Heather cardstock. While I'm thinking of it too, I will give you all of the colors, dimensions, item codes, like product codes, everything that you need to recreate these projects will be on my blog after I get it uploaded this afternoon at gatheringinspiration.com, okay? So on there, I'll give you the dimensions and how I did this, basically. But if you can see, this is a half a sheet, and then there's another half a sheet you could use for another card. So basically, that's the other half from what I cut out originally. I want to show you guys, I'm going to attempt, because <laughs> what I realized, I was like, how did she do this? Because you, what you want to do is cut like from here to here, and I've got my paper trimmer, but you'll see when I put this in here that it doesn't totally, yeah, well, maybe, isn't that funny now that I lift it up, maybe it will just fit. Hmm. Okay, yeah, I guess we're going to see. I was gonna say it doesn't quite fit, but I, now that I'm looking at it, because I want that little point to be up in that groove, this is what's kind of confusing, but I think it is. We'll see, it might not cut all the way down the bottom. Yeah, because you gotta make sure that it's in there, right? Or I guess it might just be a little bit crooked, so. And we can always fix it up. I brought my um, scissors just in case there's a problem. Why does it not seem like it's, huh. Oh, because that's the embossing one, <laughs> or the, yeah, the, <laughs> the scoring, not scoring, but embossing. Yeah, so that's part of it, is I probably need to, what if I lift this out? Oh, and then I moved it, but let's see. Let's try to take this one out. <laughs> Nothing like just, this is my on the fly right here, ladies. I know there's an easier way to do this, too. I never take these out, so we're not even going to do that. I'm going to actually just flip it over. We're going to finish our cut up here at the top. So I'm going to lay that down in there and make sure there, if I, <laughs> there, I think that's going to do it. And if I'm off a little bit, yeah. So see how, okay, so maybe I'm off just a teeny weeny bit. I'm going to just trim that off. So let's do that. And I think we need to use this for our um, designer series paper too. So like I said, there might be a better way to do this. But that's how I figured out to do it. So let's see. I'm gonna just, uh, just do that. And then look, woo, isn't that a beautiful straight edge? Okay, next you're gonna score it just like, yeah, that's why I didn't wanna take that out. Oh, I knew there was a reason why that wasn't cooperating with me, <laughs> right? Because, let's open this guy up. So now, along our 11 inch side, I still need to score it at five and a half inches. Okay, so we're gonna run it. That's my cutting, this is my scoring. Okay, there we go. And then along the eight and a half, oops, inch side, we are gonna score it at four and a quarter. Okay, so we're gonna do that right there. Okay, so that is going to, let's see, we gotta make sure we fold it the right way. Yeah, so that's gonna go like that. So this one is gonna come in here and that one is gonna come in there. And look at that, how cool is that, ladies, right? Okay, now let's cut our designer series paper, these two pieces here, while I have my paper trimmer out, okay? So these are both, let me confirm. Yeah, let's just do one here. This is, yeah, it is five and a quarter. I was thinking it's just a titch more, I think is what I did. Um, but yeah, I would say if you say five and a quarter by four inches, okay, for each of these pieces. And again, basically you just want to get, oops, can you guys see? Oh, here I've been like, okay. <laughs> so you want to get this point and this point in the groove right here, basically. Okay, so we're going to put that there and that there, and then we're just going to swoop right through there. Okay, so then same thing with this one. Again, we want that point and that point in the little cutting groove. Okay. That one and that one, and we're just gonna go like that. There we go, okay? So now we have our pieces. Get that guy out of the way. Okay, and then I need some of these for my die cutting too, okay? So we need two of those, we can put two of these away. All right, let's do the die cutting for these pieces with our rectangle dies, and nope, I'm gonna stamp first actually. Never mind, never mind, never mind. <laughs> okay, you'd think, like, um, I don't know. 
I haven't done one of these in a little bit. <laughs> I'm like a little bit slow, ladies. Okay, here we go. So we have Highland Heather ink. We have a kind of just a scrap piece of Whisper White cardstock. I just filed my nails too, so that's my other problem is I can't pick anything up. <laughs> Lots of excuses. Okay, here we go. This may be, I don't know. It doesn't matter if it's upside down or not, does it? We're just going to stamp it like that. Okay, wishing you the happiest of birthdays. I love that stamp. I love it. It's just so easy to make cute cards with it too, right? Okay, so let's grab cut an emboss machine. We're going to do a couple of cranks here. Things may wiggle. Just kind of know that. It's like it's a little, I don't know, sometimes it's looser than others. So we have our rectangle stitched dies is what we're going to use. I'm going to pull these two out and show you. So we have, it's the third largest and the fourth largest are the two that we're using, right? We're not using the biggest or the second biggest, but third and fourth, okay? So what we're going to use... So this one I have to line up well. The purple um, one I don't have to line up so well, but this one we want to make sure it's like straight and stuff. Here's the other. I'm like, where's the other cutting pad? Okay, all right, sorry about the wiggle. One a moment, please, while we crank this through here. Okay. So the rectangle stitching on that. Awesome, awesome, right? Okay. Let's grab our Highland Heather piece. I'm just gonna lay that right on there. Crank it back through. Urgh, sorry, I'm like doing this with my left hand. It feels very not natural. <laughs> As maybe some other things in my life <laughs> seem to be too. Okay, got that. Let's just scoot this right out of the way, okay? I think we'll need it for our next card. I can't even remember. We'll we'll check that one out when we get there, right? Where did I put my, oh, here I put this. <laughs> I put this sentiment like in my little tub. I need that to make my card, please. Okay, so I think we are good to go here. So this is the idea, right? This piece, and it just, um, oh, here, hold on. We need the opposite, don't we? Yeah. Did I do it? Okay, so we're going to do it the opposite. I think I cut it going the wrong way. Oh, did I really? Okay, or maybe we're just going to use different designer series paper. Okay, so there is a there is a reason why. <laughs> okay, ladies, fooey on me, because I guess I cut it <laughs> from the wrong angle. I didn't even, like, think about that. Okay, well, you know what we can do? We're just going to use both because I don't like the pink with that so we're gonna do this now lady <laughs> so this one's gonna look a little bit different okay because the pink doesn't work with this yeah okay so keep that in mind you needed to cut okay here let me just show you I'm just gonna lay those right on here so here's our piece of yeah I can see Ooh, you know what we can do though what if we do this what if we just make our card go the other way will that work will that work I don't know that's still not going to work, is it? Nope. Okay. Well, epic fail here, ladies. That's, <laughs> yeah. Okay. So here's the deal. When I cut it, right, I turned it like this and I cut and I should have. So note to selves, ladies, I should have cut it from here to here instead of, so cut it on the left side angling down rather than right side going angling down okay so that's okay we are just going to use i don't want the pink we're going to use these and it's going to be fabulous it's just going to be a little bit different than i originally thought it was going to be let me just make sure that i've got this yeah so we're just going to do this instead so it's not totally epic fail it's just going to be um we're just not going to get to see that pretty purple side okay that's all right Stuff happens, right, ladies? <laughs> okay. Let's just get our adhesive running all around. I feel like everything's kind of flinging all over the place here. Okay, so let's scoot that one. So we're going to put this. You're just going to see a little teeny tiny bit of our Highland Heather cardstock popping out from behind there. Okay, well, now we know how to cut our paper, because Amy did it wrong. 
<laughs> oh well, that's all right. I, I know you guys are going to forgive me. There's something sticky on here. You know when you get just that little bit of adhesive? This is a brand new piece of, um, there we go. A brand new, what's that called? Grid paper. <laughs> so we're just going to layer that right in there, right? And then, let's see, I am going to run adhesive there and there and there. Because I was afraid if I put it on here, I might get it in a spot. I don't want it. So we're going to do it like that. There we go. Okay. So this is still very pretty, isn't it, right? So it's just going to be just a little bit different. Did I forget the white on the inside? Okay, I did, but that's all right. That's easy enough. You just need a piece of four by five and a quarter inch to go on the inside there, right? So last step is to add a few of the opal gems. I thought that these worked perfectly. The kind of um, really soft, pretty colors that kind of sparkle out of here are what we're going to use, right? So let's grab... Uh, here we go. There, I can get my fingers on that one. So we're going to put one down there. So I used a couple of um, small ones up at the top, too. We've got one there. And then we're going to put one maybe right about there. Yeah, so can you see the beautiful, like, just some, there's something about the kind of opalescent colors in these that work really well with those kind of really soft, pale colors in the hand pen designer series paper. So isn't that cool? What a fun fun fold card, right? And there's that one right there. So you could have two different colors or maybe you like having the same pattern, I guess I should say, rather than colors, right? I think they're both beautiful, okay? All right, so shoo, I guess I got that card done. <laughs> oh, I'll show you too. That was featuring, this is the awesome, happiest of birthday stamp set. And I love this happy little bit late birthday. Isn't That's great, right? Every once in a while, you do need a belated birthday card, right? That's the one we use. Then we've also got happy birthday and it's your day. Enjoy it. You could stamp that on the inside too. That might be kind of fun, huh? Okay, so next card, we have another fun fold. And again, this one I cased from a swap that I received. We're gonna try to get things back um, lined up here where we can see what we're doing, right? So let me show you. This is, and, and I apologize because I don't have, sometimes people have stickies or business cards and this one did not, but this is a card I've kept for a while, right? And so I love the idea of this fun fold. You can kind of see it right there too, right? And it's so simple. So let me show you how we're gonna put this one together. So this one featured the sunflower um, stamp set, right? And the thanks a bunch. So I did use the same, the Celebrate Sunflower stamp set on here right there we go there's our celebrate sunflowers thanks a bunch you could do the let's celebrate you too would fit in there perfectly but again featuring the hand penned designer series paper right there is it just beautiful right okay so let me show you what we're gonna do here okay Doo -doo -doo. And I've got some notes here to tell you guys how to kind of cut and score things. So let me tell you about that. And again, I'll include all of this on my blog this afternoon. But we are going to start. So our actual card base is this piece right here of garden green cardstock. It's basically a quarter of a sheet of cardstock. So it measures four and a quarter by five and a half inches. And that is that piece right there. Okay. Then this piece of garden green cardstock, and I'll show you how it folds up. But this one measures four inches by 11 inches, and you score it at two and three and three quarters on each end. So two and three and three quarters, flip it over and do it again at two and three and three quarters, okay? So this is gonna fold in here, and that folds back. And we'll do the same thing, we'll just flip it over. This folds in here, and that folds back. So that's gonna lay right on top of there, and we're gonna open it, right? So our designer series paper is gonna go on either side of that, and then these pieces are gonna go right here, and we're only gonna adhere it on this side so it'll open and close, okay? So we have a piece of mint macaron that measures three and three quarter by three and three quarter, and then our hand pen, beautiful hand pen designer series paper that is three and a half by three and a half. Okay, then we also have the couple of little strips of designer series paper that go on each of the flaps right there. 
And these are, I believe they're one inch. Yeah, one by four inch. You need two of those, okay? Make sure they're going in the same direction, either vertical or horizontal, depending on what you want, right? Then lastly, we have a piece of, again, the mint macaron that we're gonna punch and stamp on. This one measures three and three quarters. Yep, three and three quarters by three quarters. And then we have a half inch wide strip of garden green. So half inch by four and three quarters. And that's that piece right on there. Okay, so it's really all about kind of the cutting and scoring and so on. Oh, and then actually we've got this piece of whisper white on the inside. Okay, this one measures three and three quarters by three and one quarter. So let's go ahead. We'll just put this piece right inside. So we can do that right there before we get anything else situated. Okay, we can also add, let's add these two pieces of designer series paper to our little card base, right? So here we go. Put that one there. So we're gonna just kind of line it up around the edges so we have about a quarter of an inch on all sides there. Flip it over, I think that's the easiest way for me to do it. And lay those down there, okay? Now, mm, let's see, we're gonna add adhesive all along the four sides of this. Now, the trick is to be able to hold on to it without it sticking to you and get it lined up. And the camera's right in the way, so I'm going to pull it down here a little bit more where I might be able to see. I'm trying to get the top kind of lined up. Oh, you know what? Maybe it is almost easier to like, I was trying to not, there, there. No, I think that'll work, right? If I don't press too firmly. I think that looks straight. Okay, there we go. So lay that down on there, right? Then last, we are going to add our designer series paper onto our mint macaron piece, okay? And then I'm just gonna add adhesive right on this flap right here because I want to make sure I can still open this card, okay? So you don't want to adhere it on both sides, just on this one, okay? So we have that one going right there. So we have that there and that there, okay? Now, kind of to finish things off, right, we are going to add this piece. Just put adhesive kind of in the middle of that. You don't want it on the edges because you don't want it kind of falling off. Edges, we're gonna put it, and you want it kind of lined up so it's about the same amount on each end right there, okay? So we got that right there. Okay, now let's go ahead and do our punching with one of these little, I don't know, I can't remember the name of this punch. I will have it written down. Um, it'll be on my blog. Some kind of a label punch, some pretty like edgy label punch, right? Okay. So I'm going to put that one in there, and it's almost like a titch too wide. Do you know how you do that sometimes? There we go. That, that other end seemed to fit in there a little bit better for whatever reason. Okay, so now very, very carefully, ladies, you are going to use your garden green ink and your thanks a bunch stamp. Okay, and we are... This didn't punch as well as that, so I'm gonna put the pretty end there because this one's gonna be kind of covered up with my bow. There we go. See how I, I can improvise again right there, ladies. Okay, got that, got that. So now I want to put a couple of mini dimensionals behind this baby. Actually, we'll do one more. Oop. Okay, I keep getting the backing, but not the actual dimensional. There we go. Okay, we'll put these guys on there. Thanks a bunch, isn't this so cute? I love this card, right? We're not quite done, ladies. You know, where's the bling? We gotta have the bling, right? Okay, so I used, let's see, where are my, mm -hmm, my paper snips that I like to use to dig these things up? 
They are completely, there they are. I was going to say they're completely buried, but I found them. <laughs> yes. Okay. It's going to be all right. I think I used the littler ones. So we're just going to do one there. And we're going to do one right there. Okay. So these are the uh, sequins, Artistry Blooms sequins. So they come in a bunch of different colors. They are love. And I was saying these at, at our meeting the other night. That can kind of bend these colors to be whatever color I need. Because I think this is really like Calypso Coral, but I think it looks more like Pale Papaya on that card, right? And I'm also using Pale Papaya ribbon. So we have to like pretend these are Pale Papaya sequins, right? So we're going to just tie a little bow with our beautiful very easy to work with pale papaya open weave ribbon some of our new in color ribbon do that we need a glue dot and we might have put our two cards together ladies shoo i think we did it let's see with that right there get this stuff out of the way right and we did it ladies can you believe it <laughs> I feel like shoo I made it so thanks a bunch isn't that so this one's a little bit more bent a little bit easier to work with right so I hope you guys enjoyed these cards again featuring that hand penned designer series paper right so quick recap as always just make sure if you would like to receive one of each of these cards as a thank you from me. Order online using this host code right here. Spend at least $30. You're going to get one of each of these cards. Your name is going to go in the drawing to get that super cute little Turtle Friends stamp set, right? Then bump your order up to over $50, and you also get to pick from either the free embellishment, the Genial Gems, or the 16 Project Demo Design Dream Team PDF Tutorial. Woo! Okay, ladies, we made it. Thank you so much for hanging in there with me today. I hope you guys enjoyed these projects. This, this paper is phenomenal. Love the hand pen designer series paper. So if you don't have it yet, get it, okay? Um, let's see. Have a great weekend, guys, and I will see you soon. Bye, everybody. Thank you.